All right, uh, we are here at Data Driven, and uh, I have Gurpinder, whom I'm connected for years now on LinkedIn, but uh, finally good to meet you, and uh, it's your debut on the Ravit Show, so super excited to chat with you today. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity, Ravit. Awesome. Gurpinder, uh, just for audience, would you like to quickly tell us about what you do, and um, what are you doing at uh, Data Driven Conference? Yeah, definitely. So I'm Gurpinder Dillon. I work at uh, Dun & Bradstreet as the, the VP of Data Management and where my focus is really to making sure the customers are getting the value and insights from the data assets that we provide to them. In turn, that helps them grow their business. So that's my main focus. I run the business unit. Nice. Why am I here at Data Driven? Uh, we're one of the partners with Reltio. And the second thing is it's one of you know the best, I think, conferences where the real decision makers come. And then right. you get to not only just talk about some of the hype that's happening in the industry, but how do you really make it work for you? How do you mm. solve problems that exist within the data uh, Space. So that's one of the key exciting uh, factors for me at Data Driven. I love it. Uh, you mentioned a very good point in terms of the real decision makers. I've been having conversations since reception last evening and I've been hearing such great insights from the enterprise leaders who are here, the CDOs, the, the heads of data, people like yourself who are here and have been in the space for years and, uh, you know, tons of great use cases that we've been talking about. So you're right about that. You also mentioned about, you know, relative being one of your partners. I'm kind of curious to know about that. Can you tell us a little about yeah, that? Yeah, definitely. So we have been partners for many years now. Uh, our partnership is really where Reltio platform, as you know, you know the modern MDM platform, yeah. it helps organizations bring their data um, assets together to create a golden record or that single source of truth. And DNB's value proposition comes into the play where we are the biggest and more, most comprehensive supplier of business to business data and mm -hmm. you know, recently also going into business to consumer data side. So we bring it all together to really help customers create an enterprise wide MDM system mm -hmm. that not only masters, but also enriches your data with the most comprehensive uh, information available in the marketplace. Right. So that's the relationship that we have, and you know we're looking at a few other things to expand that relationship further. So that's awesome. I know off air we were also talking about you know the AI piece, how the customers, the prospects, and obviously the other leaders are looking at it. What are your thoughts about uh, you know when customers or prospects or other leaders talk about AI? Uh, what is your first impression, uh, and how are you kind of uh, taking that conversation. I'm kind of wanting to learn a little about that conversation. Yeah, it's a really good point. As you know, there's so much hype about AI, right? right. It's been for the last few months, I would say, if not year, especially with ChatGPT. So the, the number one question that I get asked from customers is that, how do we monetize it? Okay, we're, you know, we're moving past the excitement phase into real <laughs> ROI phase. Yeah. So there's investment required, even though data is, you know, storage is cheap, and mm. some of the... Um, you know, the tuning of the models become faster and cheaper now, but still as an investment from a business side, there's a lot of uh, resource constraints that companies have. So how do I make sure that, you know, I can use this AI to properly monetize it, sell mm. solutions to our customers that are informed by and, you know, built on this AI. A few things that they touch upon is one is data quality. So Same. I can create an AI system but how do I make sure that I have the right quality of data mm. that feeds that AI, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you know a few examples in the past where you know things went wrong because of the low exactly. quality of data. And then second, the, the other second um, biggest item that they ask is transparency. So it's, not, it's no longer acceptable to have a black box AI system. Exactly. I, if I want to trust AI, I need to make sure that it's making the right decision. Then how is it getting to that decision? Very is true. Is what I want to understand, Yeah. right? And then, and then the third piece I would say that they bring up is also around, okay, so now I have this, now what? What happens next? Mm. Do I embed it into my existing ac ac applications? Do I create brand new applications? How do I make it seamless for the customer? So those are the, the few things that I come across. Do you also think that, like, what I, when I speak to, obviously, other folks in this space, the other enterprise leaders, uh, do you also feel that they start talking, like, Data quality, 100%. Data uh, transparency, for sure. Do you think that the next topic kind of runs into the governance piece as well? Uh, and the trust, oh, right? Yeah. Definitely. Uh, how, how are you kind of looking at that piece too? So that's a really good point. Um, so I sort of lumped it into data quality, but yeah, data governance and trust is a huge component of it, right? So 
it goes along with the line of transparency. So in order okay. for me yeah. to make a decision, in order for me to make a decision on these, um, I need to make sure that the data that it uses is highly governed. It's, mm. you know, it's trustable data. So from DNB's perspective, that's one of our core capabilities that we deliver to because all the data that we bring in is pre-mastered and pre-governed content, right? right? So it helps jumpstart their journey from also MDM perspective, and that's where Relteo and DNB partnership is such a nice partnership because it helps Relteo customers jumpstart their MDM as well. Love it. Right? Yeah. From AI perspective, it's doing the same thing. Hmm. No, I think uh, these are fantastic insights, uh, Gurpinder. One, one quick question about uh, the use cases. Any use case that stood out to you in the, say in the last six months or one year that you kind of feel is really interesting from an AI perspective, but uh, that's where data kind of plays a very important role and companies, enterprise leaders have started understanding that. Yeah, so, so one thing that, I mean, there's a couple of them. Yeah. But the, the, the one that really stands out, I would say, is sales and marketing use case, mm -hmm. right? So companies spend a lot of time and yeah. marketing effort to market to people. Now, with AI, the benefit that it delivers is, is one, it makes it very efficient and fast for you to understand who your customers are, but also find who to target to market to so that you're not spending, you know, you're not throwing darts in the dark, right? So you understand precisely who you want to go true. after, and therefore you dedicate your marketing resources. And, and, and that's evolving as well. So mm. for example, okay, so that's the first piece where I can create an AI model now that helps me you know, target the right audience to go right. after right customers to sell to and cross sell to. Now the second piece is making it more conversational. People don't really want to interact and you know, spend a lot of time clicking and doing this and that. They want to converse with the tool to make it easier. So conversation is another big piece customers big have piece. brought up. And where they say, hey, I want to do this. This is my target. This is what I want to do. Help me with the customers that I should be going after. Mm. So as opposed to typing anything in the system. So that's the key, that's the one use case that has stood out to me and I have yeah. seen it getting adopted more and more over the past six to eight months, I would say. I love it. Uh, one more quick question for you is about DNB. What's yeah. happening next? What are you focusing on? So our focus continues to be you know, informing and providing insights to our customers so that they can take advantage of the data and grow their business, right? So that's mm -hmm. always the, the core um, value proposition that DNB provides. But what we are looking at as things are changing, right? We're always looking at technology. How do we need to adopt some of this stuff like Gen AI capabilities? Mm. How do we adopt it to make data management easier and more efficient right. for our customers? So we're experimenting with a few things um, to help customers get to that 100% resolution capability, right? So entity resolution, so that's one. The second thing that we're always looking at is the innovation on conversational AI. Um, how do we you know, include these features and functionalities in our solutions hmm. so that it makes it very easy for our customers to use our capabilities and products that we are bringing to yep. market, right? And then the third one is always around governance and privacy. So keeping in touch and, and top of all the policies and procedures being introduced on data side, but also AI side, so hmm. that we are following the rules, but in turn, our customers don't have to, to, to undertake that heavy lifting on their side, and we yep. can do it for them. I love it. Uh, these are amazing insights, uh, Gurpinder, and uh, great things that you all are uh, doing in this space already, but also planning to you know come up with. Uh, one last question for you, and I'm pretty sure our audience would have that is, if folks want to reach out to you, which is the best place, uh, and also follow all the content that you share. Sounds good. So yes, you can reach out to me on uh, LinkedIn. So I'm always happy to connect with like-minded like folks. So as Ravid said, we have been connected for a while. Yes, exactly. Um, I would love to connect with you as well. So you can ping me on LinkedIn. I can send you the information that you need. Um, I'm always open to having a healthy discussion around what's happening, learning from you, sharing what I know. So you can reach out to me on my you know, DNB email as well, which is dylang at dnb.com or LinkedIn. That's awesome. Uh, Gurpinder, uh, once again, thanks for visiting the Rabbit Show. Thanks for the conversation. I know we are going to meet in the next three weeks again at Gartner Orlando. Yeah. So excited about that. Definitely. Thank you so much for having Thank me. Thank you. Appreciate it. Of course. Thank you, everyone, for watching us.